It's 8 o'clock on primary night, and in all but one community, the polls are closing. In Barnstable, voting is extended until midnight because thousands of ballots that voters were supposed to use were locked behind a vault that simply wouldn't open. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. We have extensive coverage of the primary elections. First, though, the primary night drama that forced courts to get involved on Cape Cod. We want to get right to WBZ's Ken McLeod live in Barnstable. And Ken, breaking news, they just got that vault open finally. <laughs> Yeah, Lisa, we are told that a locksmith was finally able to open that vault that had been shut since just after 4 a.m. And now the town clerk is trying to decide if it makes sense to try to distribute those actual ballots out to the 13 polling places here in town. You want to keep in mind, like the rest of the state, the polls here in Barnstable were supposed to close at 8 o'clock, but a court order is keeping them open until midnight. Oh, yeah. As the sound of drilling spilled under a police guarded door in the basement of Town Hall this morning, voters were getting the strange news. I was told there were, the ballots weren't ready yet. Not ready yet because just after 4 a.m., staffers discovered they couldn't open the vault where the primary ballots are stored. I don't know what happened to the door overnight, but it it broke. Indeed, after firefighters and DPW workers took their best safe cracking shot, the vault door was still shut and Barnstable's 13 voting precincts were open but ballotless. I wish that it didn't happen, but it happened. So the town clerk started printing ballots, ones that will have to be hand counted because they can't be read by machine. And as they were carried to the polls, reverse 911 calls informed residents they'd be able to vote at all 13 precincts by 11 a.m. So I thought they really did a fabulous job in this clerk's office, given the circumstances here. But some residents insisted that not nearly all of the town's 35,000 voters got calls. I'm not saying that there's anything sinister going on, but just. For the record, some did and some did not. Back at the vault, even a locksmith couldn't find the magic touch as the Secretary of State's office got a judge to extend Barnstable's voting hours until midnight, restoring the four hours lost this morning. Neither rain nor sleet nor gloom of night will keep us from voting for sure. The town clerk says only 7% of the voters here typically cast ballots in a primary, and she vowed that all vault gremlins would be dispatched by the November election. <laughs> Oh, don't even go there, of course. <laughs> so the freshly printed ballots have to be counted by hand, and that won't start until after midnight. Now, town clerks from several other places are sending staffers to help with that chore, but it's a safe bet that Barnstable will be the last votes tally during this primary. Live on the Cape tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Yeah, those vault gremlins made their presence.